Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. And tonight's SmackDown was from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and of course uh, was the go-home show for Fastlane, which is coming up this Sunday. And tonight's SmackDown, I thought it, it pretty much it pretty much sucked in my opinion. Uh, this didn't even feel like a go-home show. Uh, this this felt like just you know like filler. For uh, Fastlane uh, coming up on Sunday, so it, it was pretty much it was pretty much a terrible show all around uh, SmackDown tonight. But uh, the show opened up with Charlotte and uh, Ruby Riot. Uh, they were both being interviewed. Uh, you know, Ruby ends up uh, taking over the interview. Ruby ends up saying to Charlotte, you know, says you know Charlotte has been set up for success all her life. And that she formed the Riot Squad uh, with only one purpose to destroy the myth of Charlotte. And, uh, you know, of course, Liv Morgan and uh, Sarah Logan uh, were out there, were outside the ring. Uh, Charlotte says, you know, she had to work, you know, her way because of who she is. And that, you know, she has the weight of, expe of uh, expectations on her shoulders. And she says to Ruby that, you know, she has transcended any myth about uh, herself, about, you know, Charlotte, and that she is every bit as good as Ruby heard. Ruby says, you know, Charlotte is on a pedestal and it's all the, uh, and it's all on the line Sunday at Fastlane. And, you know, she says, you know, when she takes her crown, uh, her reality is going to be, you know, crumbles and crumbles and that Charlotte will be a failure because of her last name. And Ruby then, we see Ruby then give a nod, and Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan end up coming into the ring. And then, you know, we had Bobby Roode come out. Uh, he only came out to do uh, the commentary for uh, the first match. So that led, you know, for uh, Charlotte not to get, you know, beaten up by the Riot Squad. So, but all in all, it was okay segment it wasn't it wasn't you know wasn't you know the greatest uh segment though but so yeah so at sunday at fast lane it's going to be charlotte versus ruby riot for the uh the smackdown women's title so and then we had the first match uh jinder mahal versus randy orton uh the match was meh in my opinion uh Pretty much didn't care for the match. How many times have we saw uh, Orton and Mahal go at it when Mahal was the uh, was the WWE champion? But uh, Bobby Roode was on commentary uh, during this during this match, uh, of course. And uh, we had a uh, we had uh, Orton uh, hit uh, I think it was a uh, Shamil Singh uh, where he just. Threw where Orange just threw Shamil, you know, onto the announce table, and uh, you know, Randy Orton ended up throwing Jinder Mahal into Bobby Roode, and then uh, you know, Bobby Roode was distracting, uh, you know, the ref, you know, was distracting Orton, and then we had Jinder Mahal just, you know, throw Orton into uh, Bobby Roode, and I gave Mahal, uh, you know, the win of the uh, the match. He ended up hitting Orton with the Colossus to score the win. So, match itself, it was meh, in my opinion. We've seen it before with uh, Mahal and Orton before. And then we saw uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn backstage. Uh, Sami says he is ready for the uh, the six-pack uh, challenge Sunday at Fastlane. Owens says to him, you know, it's every man for himself. And, you know, he says Sami is an amazing guy. Sammy says to Owens that he is the only reason that he is in this uh, six-pack uh, challenge, and that he's, uh, you know, he's, you know, one win away from going to WrestleMania. Sammy says at Fastlane he will lie down for Owens, you know, for uh, this upcoming Sunday in the six-pack in the six-pack uh, challenge, and you know they and both Owens and Sammy end up hugging it out. So it was, yeah, it was okay backstage segment with them. 
Then we had Shinsuke Nakamura being interviewed about, you know, if his concern about his dream match with Styles at uh, WrestleMania. Uh, Nakamura says, you know, uh, yes about his concern about, you know, his match with Styles at WrestleMania. And Nakamura says, you know, he hopes Styles wins uh, the uh, the six-pack challenge so he can hit a uh, knee to his face at uh, WrestleMania. Aiden and, well, he was uh, interrupted by uh, Aiden English and Rusev because they both come. Rusev says to Nakamura that, you know, he caused damage to Aiden's throat uh, when he uh, hit the knee to uh, Aiden's face. And Rusev says to Nakamura, you know, face, uh, you know, for him, for Nakamura to face him at fast lane. Nakamura says he accepts, and if he beats, you know, him Sunday, it'll be Nakamura Day. And uh, Nakamura had a, uh, had a little good uh, singing voice, a uh, little good singing voice there. Uh, you know, I was pretty shocked to, uh, pretty shocked to hear that. And then uh, we had a, it was a little interview with uh, Nakamura there. Then we had uh, Becky Lynch versus Carmella. Uh, this was announced last week on, uh, I think it was like exclusive WWE.com video. And because uh, we saw uh, Carmella, Becky, and Natalia, uh, you know, in the locker room. You know, Becky you know, was tweeting out stuff about Carmella. Saying, oh, you know, I'm going to, you know, how about, you know, we get in the ring, you know, next week on uh, SmackDown. And so that basically led to this match uh, tonight. But uh, the match itself, it was your typical women's match. Wasn't uh, good of a match. Uh, it's pretty boring, in my opinion. But uh, Becky got the win with the disarmor on uh, Carmella uh, to score the win. So, typical women's match. Uh, not that not that good of a match, in my opinion. Then, uh, you know, we had Naomi backstage. Uh, Natalia comes in and says, you know, Becky is lucky. And she tells, you know, Naomi to stay away from Becky. Because uh, people always, you know, uh, the women always get burned by Becky. As you know, according to Natalia, and she ends up saying, uh, you know, the reason why Becky didn't challenge her, you know, didn't challenge Natalia, is because Becky knows that Natalia is the best there is, the best there was, and the best, you know, the best there ever will be. You know, taking Bret Hart's, uh, you know, catchphrase saying, and uh, you know, because, you know, we all we all know about you know why Natalia, you know says that you know says Bret Hart's catchphrase you know she's you know we all we all know about that and Naomi says to Natalia you know at fast lane why don't you know she take on uh, her and Becky you know Naomi and Becky uh, versus Natalia and Carmella and Natalia says you know she's going to challenge the winner at fast lane for the Smackdown women's title so a little backstage segment with the both of them. Then we had uh, AJ Styles ends up coming out. Says at Fastlane it's going to be a six-pack challenge. And, you know, he says, you know, he doesn't have to get pinned to lose the title. Well, no, duh. And, you know, he says he's going to fight because, you know, that's who he is. And he says, you know, last week Cena ended up uh, pinning Ended up hitting him clean, uh, you know, with Cena hitting the uh, Cena hitting the AA on uh, Styles last week for the win, and he says, you know, Cena, you know, didn't have a loss of words, and he ends up showing uh, the clip of uh, Cena cutting that uh, cutting that promo last night on Raw, and uh, Styles says, you know, he wants his WrestleMania moment. And he wants to take the title to WrestleMania and defend it against the best. And Styles says, you know, he wants Nakamura, you know, for them to have their uh, their dream match at WrestleMania uh, for the WWE title. 
you know, if Styles comes out, uh, the winner of the uh, the six pack challenge on uh, Sunday. And uh, Styles ends up saying that Fastlane, he is not fighting for himself. He's fighting for us and that it will be nothing short of phenomenal. And then uh, Dolph Ziggler ends up coming out, you know, saying to Styles that he used to be cool, but he changed and that, you know, he's not phenomenal anymore. And he goes on to say that Styles is pretty much desperate. Styles then fires back and says, you know, to Dolph that he's been in the company for uh, 13 years. He's been in WWE for 13 years. And he hasn't gotten the achievement, he, you know, he deserves. And Dolph, Dolph ends up saying that at Fastlane, you know, Styles is going to lose. And uh, he also says, Dolph says that nobody would think he would become champion. But he ended up proving them wrong when he cashed in uh, money in the bank and became, you know, world heavyweight champion in uh, 2013. You know, that Raw after WrestleMania 29, where that... Uh, Jersey crowd was really hot, probably one of the best, you know, crowds uh, for that Raw, and it made the crowd made that Raw uh, really, uh, really enjoyable uh, because of how energetic it was. And uh, Dolph says to Styles that you know he could take you know his WrestleMania dream match and shove it, and you know Styles ends up saying to Dolph, you know, since you're talking so much, why don't we have our match now? And so pre they pretty much, you know, had the match. SmackDown went to commercial. Then when it came back, they had the match. Uh, AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, the match itself uh, was uh, okay. It was back and forth between uh, Styles and uh, Styles and Dolph. But uh, the match ended uh, being a no contest because Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn ended up coming in. Uh, attack in uh, both styles and uh, Dolph, and you know we saw uh, we saw you know Styles and Dolph fight back, and they took down uh, Sammy and Owens, and then uh, Shane ended up coming out, you know, saying to uh, Sammy and Owens to get back in the ring, because you know Shane then makes a uh, a fatal five way match, so it's going to be. Styles versus Dolph versus Sami Zayn versus Owens versus uh, Baron Corbin. So pretty much this is basically a uh, six-pack challenge, but missing John Cena. So, but so yeah. So then that that was the main event, uh, the Fatal Five Way: Sami Zayn versus uh, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. Uh, the main event uh, was uh, was decent, uh, in my opinion. It was a little, little entertaining uh, with uh, all these five guys. Uh, we saw, uh, I think it was Kevin Owens and uh, Sami Zayn. No, Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler. They end up uh, suplexing, uh, you know, the guys, all five guys. Uh, Sami Zayn actually got the uh, the brunt of that uh, of that suplex. But uh, it was really shocking at the end of the match. Sami Zayn ended up uh, winning it. He hit the Halua kick to Kevin Owens uh, to score the win for the Fatal Five Way match. And so Sami Zayn is your winner. And uh, after the match, Sami gets interviewed saying, you know, he, he ends up saying, you know, he is the best WWE has, you know, he's the best superstar WWE has. And he's been, he says that he's been without a doubt the most underlooked performer on the roster. And that, you know, it's, he says, you know, it's about one person and that person is him. And so pretty much after he finished that, SmackDown ended. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention that uh, was funny uh, tonight was there was a, there was a guy that slipped in the snow. Uh, which was really funny, and the uh, the commentary guys were laughing at that. It was just really funny seeing how that guy slipped outside in the snow. But uh, that was probably uh, the most best part of SmackDown tonight was seeing that little clip of that guy. <laughs> so that pretty much, and that 
pretty much uh, was SmackDown. Then we move on to the uh, the mixed match challenge match, uh, which was uh, Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss versus Jimmy Uso and Naomi. And this match was uh, was decent. Uh, it was very uh, very enjoyable. I'd say uh, the match was uh, a decent match. It was better than uh, anything on uh, SmackDown tonight. <laughs> but uh, we had a. Uh, Strowman and Jimmy Uso uh, started off. Uh, Braun Strowman was really dominant in the match, taking out uh, Jimmy Uso. Uh, he had Alexa and Naomi uh, going at it in the ring. But more the standout of the match, it was Braun Strowman. Uh, he ended up putting uh, Jimmy Uso through the announce table uh, there. There were times where uh, Jimmy Uso was... You know, striking at Strowman, but Strowman wasn't going down. Uh, one point in the match where uh, you had uh, Alexa being pushed off of the uh, the ring apron and landing on Strowman. Uh, actually, it happened twice to Alexa, and we just saw you know, uh, you know, Alexa, you know, well, you gotta say Alexa was really liking liking that, you know, jumping onto Strowman twice. <laughs> but uh, the end of the match. Uh, Alexa got the win. Alexa uh, won for her and Strowman by rolling up Naomi. And so now Alexa and Strowman move on uh, in the mixed match challenge. So, but all in all, the, uh, the match was decent. Uh, it was very enjoyable. Strowman uh, was the standout of uh, this match. And so next week on the, uh, the Mixed Match Challenge, it's going to be Lana and Rusev versus Bobby Roode and Charlotte. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty cool to see. So, yes, yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown and also the, uh, the Mixed Match Challenge. Uh, thank you all for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you all later. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Come subscribe. Bye.